follow me know I you know I just did this went to school thing <clears throat> where I can teach statewide in my field and uh and the phone started ringing Monday guy offered me a job even before I got my certificate I ain't got my certificate from the state yet you already heard and he went off me a job <clears throat> he needed somebody to look over the paperwork and kind of uh Keep an eye on the technicians. He was, he was uh, dang near uh, going to double my salary. <clears throat> and I said, well, uh, it's North Georgia. So I appreciate it, buddy, but I, I'm good where I'm at. I said, you know, yeah, I'm only a half a mile from work. Oh, I'll get you an apartment li right a half a mile from work. I said, man, I ain't living in no damn apartment. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm on my homestead with my 96-year-old mother. <clears throat> I don't need no dang apartment in a bigger city than one I'm already living in. Oh, man, I'm, I'm growing so fast. I need you. I, you know, I, I need somebody. I'm just growing so fast. I said, well, I'll tell you what, bud. <clears throat> what you need to do is quit spending money then. You're growing too fast because you're spending money. <clears throat> Trust me, I know this. Take what you got run with it, put the money in the bank for a little bit. See, that's why I need you, he said. I need somebody like you, you know. Yeah, I've done about three more trucks and trying to hire technicians and got to make payments on the trucks and ain't got technicians. So that's what I'm telling you, Bubba, slow down. <clears throat> Quit spending money. <clears throat> Run your business. Go your business. Don't worry about growing right now. Then when you get everything smoothed out, <clears throat> then, 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 then worry about it. He said, dog on, man. He <clears throat> said, I can't talk you into it. I said, no, man, I, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm half a mile from work. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I love them, they love me. It's a family thing. So these folks took care of me when I was flat on my back from a wreck. Never missed a payday. Eight months. So no, I ain't, I ain't walking out. I said, now when I retire there, I'll send you a car, you know, if you want to come up there and teach some classes and whatever. <clears throat> I'll be glad to do that. You know, pay for my gas, motel room, and a little, little spending money. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, no. But at the end of the day, the dang phone rung again. <clears throat> I don't know how these folks, well, I know how they got my cell number. They, anyway, <clears throat> it's all put on the record, see. And they ain't gonna look at it. But, <clears throat> uh, another guy called me today. What a big company. Big company. Bigger than the one I worked for. Uh, won't know if, uh, I'd be interested in a position in Albany, Georgia. <clears throat> Now, it's spelled like Albany, New York, but if you're from Georgia, you call it Albany. That's what they call it. Albany is a uh, melting pot. Very thing that traveled through the South and couldn't find their way, they ended up in Albany, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. I said, no, I, I appreciate it. I said, I'm happy where I'm at. Well... <clears throat> We were wanting you to do this, and do that, you know, you'd be perfect for the job. You wouldn't have to really put in about four or five hours a day, and <clears throat> we'll give you a, a new truck. Da -da 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 -da. I said, no, nah, man. I said, look, you know, told him the same thing. I said, I, I, half a mile from work. I work for basically what I call family. <clears throat> more money. I don't need no more money. I just need to spend time with my family. And boy, I didn't hear nothing on that phone when I said that. Then the guy said, <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, I understand what you're talking about. I wish I could see my family. I said, where are your family from? So I'm calling in Jacksonville, Florida. That's where I'm at. It's a district thing, but, uh, you know, my family's uh, back in Austin, Texas. <clears throat> so I wish I could get back there. 
So I got a brother who lives in Austin, Texas. You know he do. Right outside of a town called Georgetown. Up in the hills. North. West of Austin. He said, yeah, now I want to get back there. I said, well, appreciate you calling, dude. He said, well, look, man, uh, you change your mind, you know. I just sent you an email. You know, get your email address to <clears throat> more public records. People know how to find them and handle them. I remember getting in this business. <clears throat> just another little thing here. <clears throat> First started, we would have a... Uh, uh, guy go down to the courthouse every day and ooh, lightning asked to see if uh, uh, what the land transactions were, real estate transactions were for that day <clears throat> and they'd show him the ones that you know came in the day before and he'd take that list and he'd go prospect these new homeowners uh, he'd also call the ones that sold <clears throat> To see if they had anything that they needed done. Uh, that's what we we prospect back then. But you was always getting the uh, information after the sale. Then we figured out. <clears throat> well, who's selling this stuff? Well, it's real estate agents. So, bingo, boom. Yeah. So let's get to know these real estate agents. We'll help them out. They help us out, we'll help them out. This is a two-way street. So that's what we done. And then when a real estate agent got a listing on a house, just got a listing now, they call us up and say, we go check the house out for free. Yeah, go check the house out. We come back and give them a report. Tell them whether they got to spend money or not spend money. It's all on the table right there. This, this is what we found. These are the solutions. <clears throat> and I, I don't know, eight times out of ten, you'd find something, a little something wrong here and there. And probably six times out of ten, you'd, you'd get the sale. Yeah. So, uh, sometimes it ain't always uh, dumb to get the cart for the horse. I don't know. Anyway, we got out in front of that one somehow or another. It's been a very good little trick there. All right, I hope nobody else calls me tomorrow. I don't want no jobs. And <clears throat> I started to mess with that second dude that called me today. <clears throat> I was kind of feeling froggy, but then I had a truck stuck. Way out here on the east side of the lake, where there ain't nothing but dirt roads for miles. He pulls in somebody's yard and just hit some you know, my, my mud bogging and uh, got stuck. <clears throat> yep. But we got him out of there. <clears throat> we got him out of there. <clears throat> All right, you two were, if somebody said they can't hear me, right, this is the best I can do. I got this mic phone right here. Da -da 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 -da. I think I got it upside down. No, I got it right side up. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm going to do a little picking and grinning here, and we'll get on out of here. I'm trying to still get this one right, but I don't know. Y'all bear with me here. God bless everybody. Uh, thanks for dropping in and once again. Hope you enjoyed the story tonight. Yeah. The stuff I have to deal with nowadays is just that gun ridiculous. Anyway. Yep. Sometimes I wish I didn't have a phone. 
Adios. God bless everybody. Bye.